Hi guys, this is Dallas, uh, Prophet Dallas. Today I'm in Prophet Dallas mode. So this morning I was listening to a song while I was doing my daily. It's about uh, about six o'clock, maybe seven o'clock. And the song said, the enemy comes up against your children. Now I want you to understand something. There is a very large challenge in the body of Christ. And that challenge is, we don't really know the difference in children and adults. So what happens is, listen, when it says the enemy is coming against your children, he's not talking about, God is not talking about, or even the song is not talking about your 40 year old child that continually does the same thing over and over again and you just won't give him the truth. He's not talking about your 30 year old child that won't get a job. He's talking about those people that cannot battle for themselves. And the Bible even talks about how the children are to have the ability to come to God. Listen, many of you are wasting your battle battling for people that should be battling for themselves. The Bible says one could put a thousand to flight, two could put 10,000 to flight. Ladies and gentlemen, and mostly ladies, I need you to understand that after a certain at a certain point, your child should be battling the enemy for themselves. Anytime you battle for someone that has the capability of battling, they then are weakened when it comes to the battle themselves. Now, I know some of you feel guilty because you weren't able to do the things that you wanted to do for them. And what has happened over the years because we have battled and not taught them how to battle is we have learned or built an entitled generation where they feel like you should do the battling. You should do those things that are necessary for me to run my life. Listen, God has given you the capabilities to go to a better place. The problem that you're going to have is if you're trying to take people to a place that's not their place, you're going to find yourself in a position where you don't have enough to do what God has called you to do. So I had to share that because it really blew my mind because a lot of people are still taking care of and being concerned about people that can take care of themselves. Listen, mistakes have to be made. You have to fall. You have to break your leg or do whatever the situation may be so that you understand that you are capable of doing greater. But if you never let them bump their head, if you never let them fall, if you never let them battle the battles they need to battle, you're weakening them. You're doing them an injustice. And by doing them an injustice, you're not allowing them to see God for who he is. They just see you for who you are. All right. That's a little something I just wanted to share because I understand you have to get to a better place and God has given you everything necessary pertaining to life and godliness. And the reason he's giving you that is because when you get to a better place, you can teach other people to reach that place. But if you never let them get to their own place, you just carry them from place to place to place and wonder why, hey, man, I'm tired, I'm drained. Well, it's because the enemy has come up against your children. <laughs> All right. I'm Prophet Dallas. Have a good day. Peace.